up guys welcome back to the channel uh, I know it's been a little while since we did a video but this coronavirus shite is sort of messing everyone up and the fact that this is a shared garage you know just uh, run by members so we couldn't really have everyone down here at the same time but you know now that you can stay two meters away from each other uh, we're down here and no one else is ever down here anyway so it's always dead so today we're gonna crack on with the Datsun and it is a much anticipated video for myself and for Liam who is the other half of the channel uh, this is Liam's Datsun 280 if you've never seen it before uh, it's got an SR20 in and we're going to put an RB25 in and completely rebuild it uh, from the shell up now we wasn't going to do this because Liam was due to get married in July and he was going to use it for his wedding car but that's been shit canned because of the virus and that so instead of waiting another year uh, he's decided to start the project now so uh, i'll take you around the car and today we're going to do a compression test because we're pulling the sr20 out uh, getting it ready for sale okay so it is if you've not seen it on the channel before we have done a few bits while liam's owned it such as the skillard 240 front end the light lenses uh, these mirrors which were like 300 quid because it just had some cheap ones on uh, done the wheels and then apart from that we've just tidied up a few things so it looks like a tidy car on the outside but that's just for the pictures as underneath it's a little bit tired so it used to be a white car and it's not the tidiest of jobs but we're going to fix that anyway so what we're going to do today is compression test the SR before we pull it out because you should have a buyer for that and then on the next video uh, we will pull it out and start stripping the car down but for now let's get it warmed up and give it a cold start So I've just whipped the coil pack cover off while I was waiting for it to warm up and then I also had to go through this little arrangement of wires to find out which one was the fuel pump uh, because when we're cranking it over we don't want no fuel going in there. Uh, obviously the coil packs will be disconnected anyway so there's the ignition. Uh, yes, I don't know what's going on there but found out it was this one that ran the fuel pump so I took it off. Uh, we'll take the plugs out now and then start compression testing. So all plugs out, fuel pump is off, compression test is in number one. So let's give it a crank and see what the bad news is.
it's on a 10 bar so 150 psi roughly so let's do the other three So that is number four done. Uh, all sitting around 10 bar, which is what roughly close to 250 psi, which I believe is not bad for this engine. Right, so that's it for this one. Just a short one. Um, we're going to leave the engine in so that any potential buyer can come down, hear the car running and stuff like that, and then we'll pull it out. So hit that subscribe button. Uh, join us on the next one where we'll start pulling the engine out, uh, pulling the complete car apart and send it off for blasting.